Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Melba Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an Aries dealing with a Cancerian, the crab, then this reading might be for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 10. Power of number 9. And power of number 5. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 24. We could see the Wheel of Fortune kick in, preferably. I'd also like to see the Ten of Cups and or the Ten of Pentacles make its presence known. We could also see the Hermit card, possibly the Hierophant, the Emperor, the High Priestess, the Magician, the Fool card, Hanged Man card, Temperance, the Devil card, the Sun card, Judgment, the World card. We can also see any of the knights or the kings come up in this reading. So, some of you Aries could have been born in 1950, 1951, 1952, 1954, or 1959 for my more mature audience. You could have been born in 1990, 1991, 1992, 1994, or possibly 1995. You could be 20, 21, 24, 25, or 29 years of age. You could be 40, 41, 42, 45, or 49 years old. You could also be 50, 51, 52, 54, or possibly 59 years of age for some of you. But... Going to the power of number 24 for the beautiful star sign of Aries. Aries versus Cancer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy between Aries versus Aries? Cancer, show me what's up. The King of Cups, this can definitely be your Cancerian, male or female, doesn't matter. This person is in love with you, Aries. But somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, we got the world card here. They could have put an end to this connection. Or maybe because of their behavior, of how they were handling things in this connection, maybe you are the one that had to put the stop to the connection. Probably because this person wasn't leveling up. Some of you guys could be in a long-distance relationship with this Cancerian. Somebody here could also be in the military. They could be stationed over somewhere on the other side of the world. There could have been friends or family members that got in the way of this connection. There could also be a tad bit of a karmic, <clears throat> karmic situation going on here because the world card can talk about karma. 
or this Cancerian is closing out a cycle in order to have a new beginning. I'm hearing from spirit that this Cancerian had gotten trapped all up in their emotions, didn't know which way was up or down, left you in a state of confusion. I'm hearing spirit say they're sorry. I'm sorry I let you down. I wish things could be different. You don't know how much you mean to me. Something about fate and destiny. I messed up. They're saying I messed up royally. I could have done better. Mm. Wow. You would have never known it because... After a period of time, I feel like this Cancerian Aries really held back. They're saying I did. Let's see what the world card's bringing in. Spirit's telling me that they, for some of them, they had put their career for career first before you. They gave you breadcrumbs, but this person wants to reach back out to you again, Aries, your cancer. They were breadcrumb text messages, very vague, picking up vague, vague text messages. They're saying, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was messed up. The past relationship got a hold on me. So whoever they were dealing with prior to you. Trust and ancestors, why was this Cancerian breadcrumbing Aries? Because for some of them, in some scenarios, here we have the Ace of Wands. This can represent, represent a very sexual energy. This person could have been taking advantage of your body, Aries, taking you for granted for sex, physical intimacy. In some cases, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So there was a player, or this person, this Cancerian was a player. But yet at the same time, them reaching out, saying that they want to have a new beginning here. But are their intentions real and honorable? Show me the Ace of Wands, please. In some scenarios, you could have gotten pregnant with this Cancerian. I'm picking up somebody had an abortion. And those that got pregnant, it could very well be true that this person is still in and out of your life or they're not stepping up to the plate of their responsibilities as a parent. The six of coins, they were giving time and energy to other people, places, things, or situations, and you were hoping that the situation was going to balance itself out. But somebody here owes somebody some child support money as well, in some cases. Not a lot of emotion. But I'm picking up the statements, it's their hidden truth. They know they messed up. They know what part they played, Aries, this Cancerian. Yet somebody here is wanting wish fulfillment or somebody had a very smug attitude or like to go out and drink a lot. 
Could have been also addictions that were going on. We're going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. I want to feel that way again. So guess what? This Cancerian is reminiscing about you. So I told you, they're reminiscing about you. So many things remind me of you. Even though there could definitely be a distance, silence, crickets, Some of them just disappeared on your Aries. I remember every detail of that day. So what that tells me is this person, this Cancerian remembers the day that they met you. And if they called off their relationship or you called off the relationship with them because of their behavior or their attitude or their actions, they remember every detail of that day as well. I wish things could be different. Mm hmm. I think I said that a couple minutes back. Because they want to have a new beginning here with you. They're confessing, I love you unconditionally. I wish I could take back my words. There could have been a very nasty argument. Look at that. It's right there, you guys. I know I messed up everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Trusted ancestors, why did this Cancerian get distracted and pull away from the connection? Their mind was just somewhere else. Two of Wands. They didn't know how to... The Two of Wands could talk about making plans. Could talk about making plans and looking forward to the future they got distracted because they were giving time and energy to other people their focused intention got drifted off to the sideways and so they could have told you oh baby we're going to be together and god i can't wait to be with you i want to spend the rest of my life with you and i want to marry you and some of you guys did even get engaged before in the past what does this person regret the most what does this Cancerian regret the most about the connection with Aries? That they weren't telling the truth. That they weren't balancing out the situation. That they weren't being truthful and or authentic. Now, some of you guys could have been in a situation where this Cancer was in jail. Very small percentage I'm picking up on. It was about them not speaking their truth, not being authentic. So they regret not being transparent, authentic, revealing their true self, revealing their emotions. There we go. We have like a divine counterpart, queen of cups, king of cups. A lot of you prayed for this person to return back to you. They, like I said, they could have left you pregnant in some scenarios, but they're also wanting growth and expansion. And for a lot of you, Aries, you could have, you know, elevated your life. You could have emotionally moved on from this person. It could have taken you some time. But I don't feel in truth, Aries, that 
a lot of you have not forgotten about this person or wondering what's going to happen or what's going to transpire. Well, the way I see it here is that they're taking their time. They will reach out and communicate. What will be their statement or their justification, trusted ancestors, to reach out to Aries? Temperance. It's going to be about reconciliation, balancing out the situation between the two of you. I say proceed with caution, though. They took you for granted. Yeah, they're going to try to come in with this major offer in love to heal the situation because they see you as their emperor or their empress. Like you're the one that they want to be with, but it's like, why now? Well, because they know they messed up. I know I messed up everything. I don't feel in this connection you guys are going to be able to start back where you left off because this person is going to have to prove it because you could have heard this person tell you 20 million times over that they loved you. They can come in and say, well, I have a ring for you. Don't fall for that right away. Don't fall for that right away. Before you take any ring on your beautiful hand, Aries, for you female Aries, uh-uh, no, because you got to ask the question to them, what are you going to do different? Because then they have to give you a plan of action. Yeah, you're going to give them the third degree, Queen of Swords. A lot of them could be spying in on you right now, Aries. Page of Swords, bottom of the deck. You're going to have to go about this in a very diplomatic way when they return. In the meantime, you keep doing you. Don't get off of your throne. Let's just put it that way. Because your energy is already come in twice as the Empress. So male or female Aries doesn't matter. But if you're battling or struggling on what to say when this person returns, then I would recommend the video on YouTube. Go to the channel, The Art of Love. The host name is Lucia. I do not know her personally, but she has a very powerful video the six most important things to say when your ex returns. So whether this person technically is an ex or not, you can use these six questions pretty much in almost any situation, whether it's with a friend, a family member, you just take the word ex out because this could have been a potential suitor, potential lover that, you know, you could have been dating for a while or could have lived underneath the same roof. I do feel somebody did move out or somebody wanted to move in, but they procrastinated or they delayed about, getting an apartment or getting a house, etc. But this to me is you being in your power to basically give them those six questions. Cause you need to see what they're going to prove. They were giving time and energy to other people. They say they want to balance things out, but you could have been around the block a few times with this. Person. Yes, Toto. Oh my gosh. That's scaring everybody. Man, oh man, I just moved my chair for a minute. My little firecracker Sagittarius. Whew. I'm beauty, she's the beast. In this moment. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You were like, what the hell is that? She likes to sleep right under my chair. And when I have to adjust myself, it's like the slightest movement. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so yeah, basically you may end up giving them the third degree. But it is a powerful video to watch because it will help you keep your emotions grounded and your mental thoughts grounded and, and bring that into an even balance. We should in truth never take anybody back right away. Ever. 
You know, as much as somebody, we want somebody to come back and say, God, I made a mistake. I love you so much. And, and you're just be like, oh, okay. That's like giving them a free pass without any, without them having to explain themselves. We fall into that trap too easily because I get it. The heart wants what the heart wants, but sometimes we can't always listen to our heart. We have to listen to some logic. The emotions, your emotions are the gasoline that fuels intentions. And when this person returns, you got to stay calm. You have to be diplomatic. Because you need to question, say, hey, you know, you seem so self-assured, like, that you were pretty confident about moving on from me. What changed? They have to give you a response. What changed? And you'll be like, okay, uh-huh. Well, tell me, what are you going to do differently this time? And why should I trust you? So definitely check that video out. It's very important. Because you know the holidays, we're in this holiday season. Everybody gets into their feelings. They allow their emotions to override them because they want to bring this harmony and this balance and the fa-la-la-la-la. Uh-uh. Because when you're talking about long-term commitment, you need to know that this person in truth, Aries, is actually going to go the distance. That's why it's important to say, what are you going to do differently this time? Don't say, don't let them say like, oh, baby, I promise you this. And say, no, not asking about the promises. What are you going to do? What is your plan? And, and keep that poker face, you know? Doesn't mean that you're not loving, Aries. Doesn't mean that you don't have a heart. You're asking straight up answers. What are you going to do different? So, my awesome and amazing Aries, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, Take care.